What's going on everybody? It's your boy Mary TV, the Young Spike Leader D checking in live and straight from the 313. Today we are at Mr. Allen's, the Grand River location. So if you're ever in my city, make sure to check them out. They got a really nice collection. They got a lot of nice clothes, a big shoe range and different variety. And today we do have a special guest on the channel. So introducing my special guest, the man, the legend himself, John Man Bossy from Detroit, Michigan. He has an extensive collection ranging in about almost 1200 pairs of Jordans and he has the biggest and I'm saying this on my channel he has the biggest collection of Jordans in the United States and possibly the world so introducing my main man and my Detroit brother John Man Boston It's been about a year in the making, a year in the process. We've been talking about collaborating over the time, and I finally got him on my channel, man. So this is a proud moment for me. Um, Jumpman Boss that we met um, actually before I even started YouTube, and it was a, just a crazy coincidence. I was leaving somewhere, and I seen him downtown Detroit, and we talked, and he gave me a lot of inspiration. And then later on, I actually started my channel, and he's watched me grow over that time, giving me a lot of good pointers, and um, any type of questions I ever had, I could always reach out. So I always feel good having my main man, John Man Bostic, in my corner. We're gonna jump right into like a little interview. Uh, how long have you been shopping at Mr. Allen's? I've been at Mr. Allen's for over 25, 26 years. 25, 26 years. So, yeah. so you've probably been shopping since they started. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Back back from the two for fifty days. Back, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah, exactly. So so let me ask you this, uh, John man, just so we can set the record straight. You know, I'm I'm a younger guy. You're an older guy. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, will you ever grow out of sneakers?" And I say, "No." Do you see, John man? He got all his J's. <laughs> Why can't I have mine? So let me ask you that question. Do you think there's a cap on the age? Like, do you think when you're ninety years old, you'll still be wearing J's? I'll be wearing till I'm 10 toes up. So I might end up wearing something like this with some Velcro straps. Hey, but at least but they got the, the swoosh on there. I'm in it the for life. Exactly. I'm in it for life. I've been in it 33 plus years. I've seen the game change a lot. I've seen a lot of different things occurring. And in sneakers, you know, from the quality, the colorways, uh, the inspiration the highs, behind, the behind everything, the, inspiration, the exactly. collaborations and everything, so I, I'm in it for life. This That's is something I love to do. I'm blessed to be able to work along with Mr. Allen right. and uh, you know, and meet people like you who are, are, are totally into it for the sneakers, for the love of sneakers. Exactly. And that, that's always a good feeling to collab with people like that. Exactly. So the next thing is to come to the basement. Yes, so the next video will possibly be down in the basement soon. Um, you know, that's gonna come soon, so make sure to check that out. We're gonna go through his extensive collections. Very nice, very well put together. And actually, we're gonna shout out to the Container Store. Man, yes. shout out to them. They did an amazing job. It's gonna be a clip that pops up that shows you the job they did with um, Jumpman. And I just wanna ask, like, how's that relationship having converting from boxes? So for those people who don't know, when you buy shoes, a lot of times you just stack them up and make them look real nice and neat. But over time, and over years, your boxes can break down, they can wear and tear just from anything. So how was that transition in, in parting ways with the boxes? Because I know for myself, just being a, you know, I don't call myself a sneakerhead, I call myself a sneaker enthusiast because I like everything about the sneaker from the history to everything. So how was it to part ways with some of the boxes and uh, going on to the drop fund cases? Also something different with yours is you have pictures outside. so you. Uh, do you still do that? I don't do the pictures anymore. Okay, but, but you I did do, that with the boxes. I did them mm -hmm. at first, even on the drop fronts. When okay. I first started doing the drop fronts, I would have them on, on uh, shoes that didn't have boxes, mm -hmm. or if I bought it from the Nike to the line, they cut the top of the box off. Right. So I started looking at the drop fronts, and next thing I knew, I was like, look, I think I want to totally convert. Mm -hmm. But it was rough for me to get rid of my boxes. How I got connected with the container store was, I started out with a few, and I would take some pictures and put them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I had about 300 of them. Okay. And they reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to convert your entire collection? 
And I thought about it and thought about it. At first, I said, no, this was over a two-year process. They right. were asking me. Right, right. So it got to the point where boxes started breaking down. They started getting rough for me. And then the space started getting limited because of the racks. Mm -hmm. The racks take up just as much room as the, the as boxes the box. that the shoes okay. come in. So once I started seeing how it looked, stacking the, the containers A lot up, more organized. A lot more organized than my wife. Shout out to her. She came up with the idea to just start in the corner and just do them by numbers all the way around. Right, and I know when I see it in person, I'll be even more impressed. But just watching it through a video format, they they hooked you up with, you have your socks, socks all lined up really nice. You have your jerseys hanged up. Mm -hmm. So you can just get your shoes, go to a jersey, get the socks to match and everything. So um, speaking of just having the, the clothing to match the Jordans, you're, you're also with Original, original Roughneck. Roughneck yes. So let's shout out the website to that. Shout out to them, OriginalRoughneck.com. Use the promo code JumpmanBostic. It's going to save you 20% okay. off of your order. So make sure you hit them up. And uh, they also have exclusive shirts for me where we do collaborations and things of that nature. And every, like almost every hot shoe that releases, mm -hmm. You have, have a shirt to, to go have with, a it. To go with, with it. it. So I have over a thousand t-shirts. Oh, so you never have to really go I, to the store <laughs> too much. I have pretty much have a shirt and an outfit for every pair of shoes that I have. And over the 33 plus years of collecting. That is crazy. And you started YouTube about 10 or 11 years ago? 2009. Wow. July the 29th, 2009. And a crazy story about that was I started and I just shot my collection. My oldest son said, Dad, why don't you just start YouTube? And I was like, what is YouTube? And I looked at uh -huh. it and I got on there. And from that day, the hate started. Right. And the love started too. Right. When there's People love, like, there will be yeah. hate. Okay. They're like, why would you shoot a video of just boxes? There ain't no shoes in those boxes. I said, who would do that? But over the years, I've just I, going I, through the collection, showing yeah. different things. A lot of love on there, and I, you know, I became like they say a Jordan historian. They like my videos because right. I break down the originals, the exactly. retros, and things like that. So I appreciate right. the love that I get. And, from and they also had your first when I don't know where it was. I believe it was a long, long time ago. Um, Jordan Keel, is that his name? George Keel. George Keel. There he we was go. with Nice Kicks. Right, George yes. Keel, he was with Nice Kicks at the time. He had um, came to your house and did a video. With sneak Peek. Yeah. He actually did two episodes. Because right, because they had on volume so one, yeah. they said, oh, we need a part two. Did they ever yeah. put the part two? Yeah, the part two was up. Okay. okay. They're okay. both up there. But with him, he, he came and he saw the collection but he didn't know how big it was until he got there right and that was at my old house now but you, now you, you've grown totally ever different since. now there are some people that came by i can't really speak on it right, right. now mm -hmm. who are going to do some things with it shout out to them for reaching out to me where mm -hmm. something big is is coming in the works right. in the works yeah so i've been i've been blessed you know i've been blessed to hook up with the trophy room marcus jordan i've Personally, seen that you have both pair of the new five that came yeah. out and you also have the uh trophy rooms that came out years previous yes as well. so that that's a blessing five of the six oh, so you're just missing one i'm just missing the one the uh the white and gold okay. uh 23 retro 23 so I know you're always looking. So when you come to a store like Mr. Allen's Foot Locker or anywhere else, do you browse the shelves like everyone else? Oh yeah, I browse the shelves for clothing, for shoes, just to see if there's something that I do not have. And sometimes now, which is a blessing, they have shoes that, that don't sell out. Right. Where so it was you, like that back in the 80s. If you miss it, for yeah. instance, let's take something off the wall here. So let's say Jumpman missed this release. He might wait until they go on sale. He might wait a week later, mm -hmm. and he'll just come and get them. And I and I do the same thing. Sometimes I'm not really too pressed if I don't get a shoe. Yeah. So you know that always comes into a good play nowadays because you know everybody doesn't have it all the time. You know we're all human beings. We all run through certain things, and shoes might be at, on the back burner exactly. at the time. So yeah. it's always good that we have this new wave of. Um, you know, being a sneakerhead or a sneaker enthusiast, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call yourself. So, um, let me ask you this. Is there any shoes that's coming out this year that you're looking forward to? Yeah. Um, I'll have these pop up for you guys on the bottom. Definitely the Playoff 11. 
Okay. Black and red eleven. Exactly. What I call it. And, and, use the other and, I, and and you know it's crazy that you say that because I say the same thing. Uh, you know another shoe, the yellow Ferrari. Oh yeah, I like those. I definitely want those. Ah. Uh, there were some shoes that are supposed to come out that they keep teasing us with. Okay. That may or may not come out. So I just kind of. What do you go. think about those uh, Ray Allen? Oh, yes, yes. There you go. The Ray Allen 7s. I definitely want to get those. But, but, but uh, they're not the original. Correct? The originals were um, a tumbled leather. Mm -hmm. I mean, a tumbled, tumbled, tumbled leather. Right. And the perfect pair. And check him out. Make sure you check him out on Instagram. The perfect pair. He is like. He has 3,000 plus shoes. Right. And he does a little bit of everything. He dips and dabs in all brands and things like that. But his his collection is very extensive. Right. Mayor is another one who Yes, a, in New York, evolved. right? There's, there's so many people, oh, Phase 2, there's so many people that I could name whose, whose collections are amazing. But, um, yeah, that's... So, John, man, let me ask you a funny question. Mm -hmm. You don't wear Yeezys. Never. You know what's funny? I, I only own one pair, mm -hmm. and it's the Yeezy Calabasas. And honestly, I actually wanted to part ways with them. And I know you would love to hear that, so I wanted to <laughs> tell you on my channel. But um, it's just because of some of the social issues that I, I don't really care for Kanye to dip See, off into. Right, right, so, right. you know, and it's two black men just can't get down with everything. Mm -hmm. But I heard a little birdie told me when you hit 100K, it's supposed to be getting easy. Is that true? Is that, is, do you think you'll yeah, stick to it? That's Connor TV. He, he put that out there, okay. and now people are running wild with mm -hmm. it. But it's a stipulation in there. Okay. And what's This that? is what it is. Okay. The stipulation is I buy a pair of Yeezys. So you can donate them, you can and resell I'm, them. Yeah, I'm going to give them away on my page to somebody who, depending on what size I get, mm -hmm. I'd be. Once I get close to 100K, I'm at like 81,000 and some change right now on YouTube. So once I get closer to 100K, I'll take a poll of what the best size is to, to buy. Get, and, then, and then I'm just going to do a giveaway. And that sounds awesome. So make sure you guys tune in for that so you guys don't miss out and miss out on your chance to get some free Yeezys. Um, like I said, I, I really appreciate you being on the channel. It means a lot. We're gonna do a lot more videos in the future. This is just one of many. I just wanna thank you once again. Uh, you know, hats off to you, hats off to your collection. Thank you for your time today. And uh, make sure to check out Dumb Man Boss's page. And can you give us those promo codes and the websites for the Container Store and Roughneck? Well, the and, and your YouTube. Make sure to say your YouTube, Instagram, all that. Yeah. My YouTube is Jumpman Bostic. My Instagram is Jumpman Bostic. So is my, my Facebook, Snapchat. I really don't do Snapchat too okay. much, but every once in a while I'm on there. The promo code for Original Roughneck is Jumpman Bostic. There is, I don't have one with the container store. Okay. What I do with them is I just announce when they're having sales. Okay, awesome. So, so make sure to check out for those sales. Um, Jumpman Bostic will be posting. Turn on your notifications to his YouTube. Appreciate it. And um, as always, uh, it's, it's Mary TV, the young Spike Lee the D, checking in live and straight from the 313. And I'm out. Okay, I get lost in the night. Faded off of that brown. We could take shots of that white. Realest niggas around. Tell me what you like and what you